Hey guys, welcome back to our um, another tutorial in LibGDX game development with Java. Now this time we are on episode 2 and on this episode we are going to um, create graphics okay, such as pixmap, texture, and sprites. We are going to explain what are these and use them inside of our program. Now in this tutorial, let's discuss how to add a simple graphics to our game. Note that we won't add images for now, so just the simple shapes to move our objects, okay? So first, let's identify. So a graphics is everything you see inside the game. Be it shapes, images, fonts that will make the game look cool and amazing. So before we create our graphic objects, let us first add some values to our screen okay so let's create a new package called handlers and that's where we'll put all our supporting objects and let's create a new interface where we store our constant values okay so here let's try to create our, our new package called handlers so right click here new and then package and then at the end just put their handlers okay so we don't have class yet so for this one let's just create an interface where we can store our constant variables so click on that package new interface okay so let's just name this constant so here we will put our um, let we will put our dimensions of our desktop. So public final int the game with the game with let's say it is a 400 or 480 and public final int game height and we have 480 okay that's good and then let's go back to our desktop application which is here and then change something here like let's implement this um, constant here and then import and then let's add some code here so config so the config here is the configuration which is this one so config the title so let's just put there simple game and then config that with equals to our game with and then our config that height equals the game height okay now let's try to run this and see if the dimension changes so run as and then job applications so we now have the 480 480 um, width and height okay so let's go back to uh, um, our game screen which is here and remove this since we're not gonna use this for now or not and then let's continue now our graphics so pix map so a pix map is um, a graphics is directly created by pixels by the word itself it's pix okay so let's try to create um, a method for that okay now let's put private void create graphics okay so a create graphics we put there okay before that let's just put some comments here uh, methods and then the game loop and then here this is where we add no this is add we create our graphics graphics okay so let's do that and then inside this method we are going to create our very first pix map okay now before that we need to create um, we need to create a width and height for that one 
okay now let's try it okay so in width let's see 8 and the height of 8 next let's create a pix map by using pix map pix map equals to new pix map then our width our height it has four parameters width height and the color so we want this to be rgba sorry uh pix map dot format dot rgba rgb 88 so this is our color and then okay so we have the width of the pix map the height of the pix map and then the format and the color format of our pix map okay now let's put a color on our pix map uh pix map that set color so color that white okay so let's import that let's use this bud logic color now we now have the color for our pix map and its color is white and then once we have our color let's fill that color onto our pix map so pix map that fill okay now it fills up with the color white and then lastly we will draw a shape for our pix map so pix map that draw and for this tutorial let's use rectangle and then the x position which is zero for now y and our width and our height so it has a bounce okay so we have the x axis the y axis the width and the height now before that nothing will happen here because we only created a pix map okay so we need this to be drawn inside our render method so how are we gonna draw this so this is where another topic will come in so it's called a sprite batch and a camera okay so a sprite batch is needed if we want to draw multiple images or objects at once so the game will know that you are going to draw that image by using um, by using the may begin and then you end that using end okay so the sprite batch um, object has these methods and then let's try to implement that now so here we add private sprite batch let's just name this sb and then our camera orthographic camera and cam let's import these two objects and then let's initialize this um, two objects in the um, in the show method so here the game is running so let's just put it here so um, SB equals to new sprite batch okay and then our camera equals to new orthographic camera so basically we just initialized our objects and then here we need to set the camera view so our cam that's set to ortho so this is the camera view false and then a 5f and 5f so basically the first parameter here means that the y-axis is false this is invert if we if we um, put this true the y-axis will uh, start the zero the zero y-axis will start from the top and the highest y-axis will go from the will go to the bottom but if we set this to false our starting point of y-axis will be at the bottom going to top then this 5 and 5 here this is our uh this is our view uh view width and our view height so basically we just want to create a camera that's only a width of 5 and a height of 5 since later on even if we have larger uh, larger size images we are not going to render their actual size we just want them to be we just want them to be um, to be drawn using the camera view okay we just want them we just want to get the size that will fit to the, our camera because if we want to load our images or larger images using the actual size then it'll take time to load and it'll cause performance issue okay now 
now we have a now we have a camera here so next let's create um, a texture here okay so private texture texture now a texture is needed if we want to draw objects on the screen since we have a pix map already but we can't just draw pix map on the screen although we can but for this tutorial let's just skip that for now and create a texture now a texture is what you can use to render raw objects in the game be careful though that red textures are need to be disposed once they are not used anymore okay now inside of our uh, inside of our create graphics method let's put there our texture here so texture equals to new texture let's initialize this and then on our parameter what texture we are going to create the pix map okay so now we have now the texture and then let's try to go back to our render method and try to draw this one okay so again before we draw that let's first sb that set projection matrix meaning we need to set first the camera view to our sprite batch okay so they are combining and then let's render things here render things so call the method begin sp.begin and then let's draw that texture so the method for that is sb.draw and it has many parameters but for that let's skip so let's put there our texture we want to draw our texture uh, where are we going to put it let's just put in the one x one, uh, x, one x axis one y axis and then our width would be 0.5 and then 1f a width of 5 and a height of 1f and then we are going to close this um, the sprite batch and there you go do not forget to put a begin and to put an end after you've done rendering all the objects you want okay now let's try to run this program and see if it works okay so it caused an error let's check the error it says the game screen 50 which is the texture yes of course it caused an error because we haven't called the create graphics method yet so let's go to our show method here and then let's call the create graphics okay now let's run that program again and see we now have a very tall rectangle okay so we don't want this so let's just change the size to 0.5 f okay we have a square okay so now it doesn't look weird and we have a perfectly white colored rectangle now to sum it up okay so we created a pix map using this uh, inside this method create graphics okay we created this method and then we add a width and height and then create a pix map using this reference okay it has a width and height and our color type color and then we then put a color to our pix map and then for this we selected white and then we filled it and then we filled our pix map with that color white and then we draw the rectangle okay we draw then the pix map and then we want it to be a rectangle shape so draw a rectangle we have zero and y x for now and then it's width and height and then we created uh, two objects here sprite batch used for rendering objects and a camera used to view objects on that um, used to view objects or used to view the rendered objects okay so we then initialized new sprite batch and also graphic camera and then we set the camera view to false again this is the y-axis and then we set the width and height the 5f and 5f we just want our game screen to view five points width and five points height 
and then we created a new texture here okay and then put and put the texture here and assign its value and the parameter is pixmap we want to create a texture and we want uh, we want that pixmap okay and then we draw that pixmap using sb.draw here your x your y and width and height okay and then don't forget to set the projection matrix so that the camera will follow to your um, to your screen now let's um, continue and uh, continue with our last object which is called the sprite okay so let's create an object called sprite now a sprite is basically used for entities such as player enemies and small objects particles those are sprites but it is not mandatory to create a sprite object but if you want something but if you want a method that it that can on that only cause that that only a sprite can use then use this object now how to use a sprite so let's do this let's go back to our create graphics method so here sprite equals to new sprite then we get that texture okay and why it isn't pixmap directly because it will cause an error because the sprite only wants textures and atlas files okay here and then um, rendering sprite is quite different because you need to set the position first sprite the set position and we declare there a 1f and 1f the x and y axis and then we need to set the dimension which is 0.5f and 0.5f now we now have our sprite okay let's put this our our pix map texture our sprite now we now have our sprite and then let's try to draw that now to draw a sprite you don't need this anymore you just simply call your sprite variable sprite that draw and then the sprite batch now if you run our program we can still see our rectangle there kicking and living now why do we need um, why do we need to use sprite again um, sprite has methods that can use to make the make the object or make the image look nice so for this tutorial let's try to rotate this object to have a rotating effect now here on our render method let's try um, this is where we put our update so let's try to put there um, sprite dot rotate then just one okay and then when we run our program you will see it rotates it like that okay and that is somewhat disturbing and then we don't um we don't want it and we don't want that to happen next to avoid that problem we're going to set this to set its origin to the center okay so our sprite that get width divided by two and sprite that get height divided by two now if you run our program our sprite is now rotating okay and it performs a circle because it keeps on looping so let's try to change that now we need to add something called the buffer screen now a buffer screen is like a, is like a board okay a board in school now you cannot write anything there without the um, without the wood right you just have the frame okay a buffer screen needs the board so that you'll be able to write on the board in here in, in our game a buffer screen is um, let's say we have a background color which is black example 
and then on top of that our image or our game or our game itself okay now every every millisecond okay what when the game loop updates okay it it uh, it it will it will move with the uh, with the second buffer screen which is the black screen okay notice that when we when we move to another screen on some games we tend to we tend to see a black screen white screen or what kind of screen there when when we move to another places like going to town and they will put there and we just assume that there's an loading uh, loading message there so that's a buffer screen okay so this is used to um, to replace the previous game update or the game loop you have and change it to another one now let's try so gdx.gl20 the gl clear color so for our color or our buffer screen we just want the 11f divided by 255.0f um, and then 11f divided by 255.0f and for our blue still 11f divided by 255.0f our alpha is of course 1 and then next we have the gdx gl20 that gl clear gl20 that gl color buffer bit so again we now created the buffer screen and let's try to create uh, let's try to run this program and see the difference of our previous application so see so it now rotates um, smoothly because it renders um, for every millisecond it changes the graphics that's why we need the buffer screen because if we don't have the buffer screen the previous update will always uh, will be stick there or will be stuck in there and we will see and, and we will still see um, the last image that was drawn so that's why we need the buffer screen for that to be removed and we can only see the current image that needs to be shown so that is the buffer screen now um, it's kind of complicated for this but if you just test and keep on experimenting I'm sure you'll able to understand and then have fun with game development so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the little subscribe button and for more information uh, feel free to browse on my website um, which is on the description below and then see you on the next tutorial